everybody, it's Valerie from Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet and Sewing. Hope everybody's doing great. Today is Friday, April, 20, April 15th, 2022. Um, it's about 1040 in the morning as I'm making this video. So, so far today, I cleaned both of my bathrooms. I did a load of laundry and another one is drying. I did a little bit of cleaning in my clean up the craft or clean up the crochet and sewing rooms adventure, which I am not going to get done this week, but that's okay. I've got, I made a lot of headway. Um, so I'm just going to have to be happy with that and <laughs> finish it up probably a little bit here and there, but probably most of it will wait until summer vacation or <laughs> retirement. <laughs> I can't get I can't get used to that. <laughs> um, all right. So like I said, today is mostly about fabric. I do have some happy mail first. I have to dig through and find it though. So hold on. All right. So I was going to tell you also what I'm going to be doing the rest of today. Um, I, as soon as I finish this video, my laundry will be dry hopefully. And so then I'm going to hang that up, put it away, and then I'm going to go down to Subway and get a Subway sandwich. I have not had Subway in a long time. And I also need to go by the grocery store because I said I'm bringing dessert. We're doing our Easter tomorrow. Today's Friday. Yes, we're doing our Easter tomorrow. Uh, so I need to find some kind of dessert to bring. I'm thinking if I could find a cute little bunny cake or something. Um, you know, how they decorate cakes to look like bunnies or Eastery or something. And then, well, hello, Miss Molly. Come on up here. And then just bring that. Um, hello. People missed you yesterday. Molly, come over here. Come over here. There we go. I don't have anything. I just wanted you to look up at the camera. <laughs> um... So yeah, I have to do that. I thought about just not doing that because I'm tired, but I thought oh, I'll just make myself go down to the store. And then um, for the rest of the day, I am going to work on bags because I have some bags that I'm sewing that I want to get in the shop um, on or around May 1st, which still gives me about two weeks but um, I want to work on those this afternoon, and I want to work on my Lizzie blanket. And I did not watch my movie yesterday, um, The Trouble with Angels, so I'm going to watch both of the movies today. I told you there were two movies. So that's kind of my plans for the day. I got all my stuff that I really needed to get done. I got it done this morning, or it's almost done. Did I have Pet the Cat on my list? Hmm, let me think. <laughs> Yeah, I think I had pet the cat on my list. Oh, Miss Molly, you're a good girl. Where's your sister at and your brother? Yeah. Your, well, your half brother actually. <laughs> I told when I I went in yesterday to get um blood drawn because the doctor ordered some more blood test and um the <laughs> I love it when people ask me how many cats I have. And I, so she asked, the lady asked me, how many cats do you have? That's before she jammed the needle on the side of my arm. Anyway, let's don't go there. <laughs> it was a weird blood draw yesterday. Um, so anyway, she asks, she asked me, so like, she's trying to make conversation, you know. And she said, do you have any grandkids? I said, no, I'm not, I'm not married. I don't have any kids or anything. <laughs> they don't ask me if I have any kids anymore. They ask me if I have any grandkids. So I must be getting old. <laughs> anyway, I don't care. Um, I'd rather be old and um, feeling better mentally than I did when I was younger. Now, if I could just get the physical part to catch up. Anyway, um, so she asks, I said, no, I don't have kids. I have cats. Well, first, I always say, no, I don't have kids. I, I do I do have kids, but I my kids go home at 2 o'clock, you know, because I'm a teacher. And she chuckled about that. And I said, but I really, I, I don't have kids. I have cats. She goes, oh, how many cats do you have? And I said, two and a half. <laughs> because I do. I have two and a half cats. 
<laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> so I always tell people I have two and a half cats because I have Maggie and Molly. And then I have Nike, who is not my cat. Um, but he's the neighbor's cat. But he sleeps on my sofa. He eats my cheese. He eats my cat food. You know, he's got me trained pretty well on when he wants cheese. Right, Molly? Yeah. Anyway, so that's just some rambling. Um, before you turn this off, if you're not interested in fabric, because I do have a ton of fabric, I need to get to it because it's going to be like super, super fast because I've got so much. Um, I do want to talk about some Happy Mail. Um, I got a package from my good friend and subscriber, Mary, here in California. So I haven't even opened it yet. <laughs> so I love like waiting and like anticipating, like wondering what's in there. I had no idea this was coming. So let me get this open. What do you think it is, Molly? Molly's very interested. We don't know what it is yet. Ooh. Oh, she wrote me a nice letter. I will look at that in a minute. Um, but ooh, beautiful. Oh my gosh. These are so pretty. Butterfly stickers. Beautiful butterfly. I love butterflies. You guys know that about me. I love butterflies and dragonflies. Here's some more butterflies. And then <laughs> look at these. <laughs> Cat cactus. I love them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so thank you, Mary. These are wonderful. I love them so much. And I'll read my card in a little bit. And um, thank you, thank you. So I love happy mail. I love stickers. All right. So let's go ahead and get on to this. Um, one of my lovely subscribers, crafty crochet friends said frenzy. I was trying to think of a word yesterday for this fabulous Friday fabric frenzy. Frenzy is a perfect word because it's going to go fast. You ready? Um, oh, that's not even fabric. <laughs> get out of there. Go in that pile. Uh, um, all right. So a lot of these, I don't know where they came from. I told you I've been buying fabric like crazy the last month or two because I wanted to get into sewing things for my shop and, uh, it doesn't take a lot of encouragement for me to, for me to buy fabric because I love it. I love fabric as much as I love yarn. Uh, maybe even a little bit more. I don't know. Anyway. So I'm just going to go through these really quick. Here is, isn't that adorable? Some spring gnomes. Um, this one I got because I, you might not know this about me, but I love like extraterrestrial things and <laughs> it's kind of creepy, but I thought, you know, it's kind of cute too. And I thought I'm thinking of like bags and other things I'm thinking of making and I want a variety of fabric and I just liked it. Okay. This one is not for my shop. Um, when I was little, I had a teddy bear and I, I never did ask my mom how many of these she bought, but I'll bet she bought a whole bolt of fabric that had these panels on there because whenever my teddy bear would wear out, she would make a new teddy bear cover for it. And I loved my teddy bear. This, this was my teddy bear and oh my gosh. I found this for sale on Etsy. I actually have two of them now. I paid an arm and a leg for, for it. Um, but, it, you know, it's vintage. You can't find it anymore. And it was my very special best friend, Teddy Bear. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for it, but it was way, way a lot. I'm not going to say too much because it's worth it to me. Um but that's my teddy bear. Oh my gosh, my teddy bear. I love my teddy bear. So I'm going to make one of, up, one of those up. And the other one I'm just saving because um, I just want to save it. But anyway, that's not about uh, this. So more fabric. I love this one. I think this is my favorite one. Look at all those beautiful colors. That's my colors. Th these are my colors. When I was talking about fabric the other day and I was saying, you know, I like to get a variety um, because I tend to go for a certain color palette. 
and I know not everybody does. Uh, these are so beautiful. I love succulents. So there we go. There's some succulents. I'm not telling you how much of each fabric. It, some are, I think most are about half a yard, but I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that. There's this one. And I don't know where I got these. I'm sure it was an Etsy shop because I try to I try to buy things from um, people on Etsy. Look at that, how pretty. But there's also a couple of fabric companies that I buy from too. So I don't know. Look at that one. It's so pretty. And I've been trying to find sewing or crochet themed ones. Not easy to do, but I had to find a few. There's some buttons. Um, and this one is oh, upside down <laughs> elephants I know people like elephants I thought that would be a cute one. Oh, here's some more of the spring gnomes here is a paisley one it's a really light paisley love that one I love blues and greens here are some <laughs> some Crazy looking gnomes. <laughs> I love them. And then this one, I like the red stars. Here is an ocean or a water theme one, like raindrops kind of. And a sewing stripe. Sewing notions, sewing tools. This one is like a little kids' room stuff. Look, it's upside down, but it's like, I don't think there is a right side up on that one. Here is another one of my favorites. It reminds me of like a Mary Inglebright kind of thing. And look at this one, the puppies and the kittens with the, the ladybugs and the mushrooms. <laughs> is that cute? And I love this one, the dressmaker's mannequin or whatever you call them. I've actually got two pieces of that. All right. I know I got these next ones at Dollar Tree, actually. So I got a bunch of the sloth ones. Got a total of four of those, I think. And then this one is a llama. I saw a llama on there. There we go. Or a alpaca or whatever he is. I got a couple of those. I got this one. All right. I think everything else I'm going to have to open. Um, I don't think I'm going to open this pack because they're little pieces. But I got a pack and I believe it, again, I think it was on Etsy. And they're just like, so it's like a charm pack. So it's, I think this was a novelty charm pack. And there's, I see obviously the police one, guitars, um, just different things in there. And I got another charm pack. This one is, oh, this one says animal. Oh, this one says novelty. And this one says animal. And so I don't know how that's animal, but... Um, <laughs> there's some pandas, there's some horses. Again, I'm not going to take them out. I would be here all day if I did. Um, but there's just a ton in there. And I have a pack. This is similar to the one I showed you yesterday. I don't, oh, I found another sloth one. It's got, again, colors that I might not normally buy, but I like them. And it's... To me, these are more like, um, I don't know what, I, what I'm trying to say, like modern, modern. And so there's some of the colors in there. Sorry, I'm not taking them all out. I just, I still have so much. And most of the ones I will show you piece by piece. Um, but I just, <laughs> there's like so much. I can't show them all to you. All right, so this is an Amazon one. Ooh, I like it. It's green and blue butterflies. Some yellow in there. That's a pretty one. I might stop.
stop the video after a while and open some of these up. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh, I bought this for something and totally forgot I ordered it. Uh, I'm going to have to do something with this because my aid is a huge Chargers fan. So I ordered this and I forgot even why. I, I was going to do something with it for him. Um, anyway, <laughs> there we go. LA Chargers. Los, Los, Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, let's see what this one is. That was from Amazon also. And this one is also from Amazon. Oh my gosh, look at this one. I'm sorry, the bags are kind of shiny there. But look at those cats. <laughs> I love it. And look at these cats. So pretty. Huh. All right, let's see what's in this bag. I told you I got a lot of fabric. Friday, fabulous Friday fabric frenzy. Oh, same thing. <laughs> I got two, the same kind of fabric. I'm not sure why, but I do. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go through. Let's see if there's any more Amazon ones. Oh my gosh, that one's heavy. I think these two are Amazon. <coughs> nope, they're Joann's. All right, so let's do some Joann's. Hold on, I'm going to open up, up a couple bags and get some of this mess out of the way. All right. Oh, well, the, here's another. Sorry, I'm still, still crinkling. Here's another that I showed you the other day. I guess I ordered more of it. Um, again, it's all right. It's pretty. I like it, and I'll use it. It's just not what I had envisioned. Um, but it's pretty. That was from Joann's. Here is a huge bag from Joann's. And I ordered some favorite old standbys. I have this purple dragonfly in a lot of different colors. I love it. Um, so I got some of that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this one is exactly what I was envisioning. Look at that one, the flamingos in the summer. Can you imagine a little bag out of that? Like a little uh, wrist bag, you carry around your crochet, you know, when you're walking on the boardwalk or something. <laughs> I don't know, down by the lake. And then I just got some um, Kona cotton because Kona is my favorite to use. So I just got some of that just for bag liners or for just to have the solid colors that I sometimes forget to buy. All right, some more Joann's is this one. I figured that would make a nice liner. I think it was on sale because it's kind of Easter-ish. I mean, it doesn't have to be Easter-ish, but it's like pastel colors. Um, oh, okay. Here's one I would not have purchased if I had seen it in, in, a, in real life. Because it's got glitter on it. I don't like glitter. Like it's got that really fine glitter on it. You probably can't even see it on the camera. Um, it's cute. I'll use it. But it's I wouldn't have purchased that in person. I do like this one. I love the color. I love the scale to it. And I like the design. I feel like I'm Siskel and Ebert reading movies or something. This movie gets a four four stars or two thumbs up or whatever they used to say. Okay, I think this is my last Joann's bag. And then there's three more bags uh, from other places. I told you! I went crazy with the fabric! Um, ooh, this one is really pretty. That one is pretty. It's like a pastel tie-dye. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. And then this one... I think this was one that was on sale, like a really good price, because it looks Valentine-ish. A little more Valentine-ish than I had hoped, but that's okay. I'll find a use for it. It's pretty. I like it. All right, so I have one from my favorite quilt store. I have a bag from 
Muna Fabrics. <laughs> Somebody went crazy with the buying fabric. And I have one from Indeed Fabric. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I need fabric. <laughs> yes, I do. I No, I don't. All right, I'm going to open that one last because I just got that one. And I'm going to... I mean, not that it makes a difference. But I'm going to open the one from Muna Fabric. Let's see what we got there. It's not bad. 20 minutes. And so maybe like a 30-minute video to show off fabric. That's not too bad. Okay, let's see. All right, we have... Oh, I know what I did. I bought like... um. Not not scrap bags, but I think they were, um, and the other one that I showed you too, that was by this company, they were bolt ins. So you get whatever you get. It's kind of like, you know, whatever they're cutting that day, whatever they have a little extra of. Um, and so again, I got this cause you can kind of see the different colors in there, the darker colors, colors that I wouldn't normally purchase for myself, but I know other people and I like, I like some of them too. Um, but I know like it gives me a good variety for different products because not everybody likes my, you know, bright greens and purples and pinks and yellows. <laughs> so there's that. I'm not going to take all these out. It would take forever. Um, but you can kind of see the different colors in there. And these are, again, what I would, I tend to think of as more modern fabrics. Um, so, yay. Okay, that's good. Hi, Molly. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I think I've used up all the room where you would sit. She gave me a dirty look. All right, we're going to go to my favorite quilt store. And a couple of these places I had never tried before, like this one, the, I, the uh, my favorite quilt store. So I was kind of just trying them out and seeing if it's, you know, a place that is going to, that I would like have as a favorite online quilt store or fabric store. Okay, I think, what am I doing here? She, these, she, these are wrapped, um, I'm trying to take it out carefully because I want to show you how they wrapped it. So it was in the mailer, but it's also, well, there's my receipt. It's also wrapped in some beautiful tissue paper. Isn't that pretty? All right. So, and I've got a business card, my favorite quilt store. All right, again, sorry for the crinkling. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, this is not the one I'm oh my goshing about, but I'm going to show that one to you in a minute. This one is pretty too. It's blue sea glass. And oh, I love that. That is so pretty. But look at this one. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love this one. It's so cute. Little teeny tiny kitties. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I think I've said that tech 10 times now. Ooh, very pretty. Blue and yellow together. Love it. This one is, I'm going to open it up a little bit. It's Sewing Notions. Very pretty. I'm not sure why I bought this one, but it's Sailboats. And, ooh, that one is very pretty. Ooh, I like that one. And here is, da -da -da! isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I will, I will be purchasing from this place again. I am very happy with the quality and the colors and the designs. These are my colors. With the exclusion of the teal. I mean, I like the teal. It's just not, like, my color. <laughs> oh. Paris. That's pretty. And I actually don't remember choosing that one. And this one is another sewing one. Little sewing notions. Yes, I like that one. My favorite quilt store. I will be buying from, ah, from them again. My fabric pile is falling over here. One last bag, but it's a big one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I 
And this is from I Need Fabric. And I'd never ordered from them before, so I have no idea what to expect. But I was pleasantly surprised with the other place. Ooh, I like it so far. Oh, one of them they had to split. Okay, so here's what I got. Let's take a look. This is $100 worth of fabric. So each piece was $6.50 because I ordered one yard of each. Okay, so keep that in mind. <laughs> Sorry I didn't have prices or anything for the other ones, but I didn't really even think about that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this one is beautiful. All right, I've <laughs> I have to link these videos together. I've surpassed my twenty five minute. Anyway, it won't you won't even notice. But look at this one. Oh, how beautiful! It's got the pearls, and I think it's supposed to go this way. <laughs> there we go. Oh wow. Okay, I'm in love with that one. And this one. No pearls on this one, but how beautiful. I have a thing for a uh, mermaid fabric. I don't know why. Okay, this one, it's a little darker than I was expecting. But I think it's okay. okay. Oh, more mermaid and pearls. They had this in all different kinds of colors. So $6.50 for a yard of fabric. That is not bad. Um, it's It feels like pretty, pretty good quality fabric. I'm pleased with it. So yeah, I would definitely order from INeedFabric.com. This one, I think this one is a little bit fuzzy. A little bit fuzzy. Like, not fuzzy feeling, but, like, looking, unless it's just my eyes. Yeah, it's a little bit not as clear, the print on it. Hello, Miss Molly. Like, it's kind of hard to see the, <laughs> well, especially now, it's kind of hard to see the caterpillar's face on there. Um, okay, Molly, don't knock over my pile of fabric here. <laughs> Ooh, I like this one. So it's obvious, if you can tell, it's obviously they've printed the fabric. I mean, I guess all fabric is printed, but this is um, a little different. It's a little stiff, but I'm sure washing would help. So there's that one. Yeah, I'm not, you know, I like the mermaid ones, but I'm not, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, speaking of mermaid ones, so far I'm not like over the moon about some of the print quality on these uh, but again I do love the mermaid ones look at this mermaid one oh my gosh what do you think Molly that one and that one feels it looks good it 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 still is like a little a little tiny bit muted a little bit muted in the colors but it works good for the mermaids there's a purple and pink with the pearls. What do you think, Molly? <laughs> can you just like, so people can see you? It's okay for her to get you. There we go. Oh, this one's cute. I wonder how this stuff will wash up. I um, I purchased from Spoonflower before and I'm I'm not really happy with their fabrics. But I don't know if this is kind of along the same lines. And it's all marked fun with sewing. Fun with sewing. So I don't, that's not what the company, the company company is I Need Fabric. But here's some um, unicorns. This one is nicer. I like the print on that one. I am curious to see how those would wash up. And again, here's another, this one is a, oh, there's more down there. This one is crochet and knitting. I need to dunk. <laughs> Are you approving of the mermaids? 
I need to dunk this in the washing machine and see how it washes up. But I love the colors and the print. Again, a little tiny, tiny bit fuzzy. Here's this one. Same thing, but with a different color background to it. And then, ooh, this one's pretty. I don't know if it was exactly what I had in mind. Oh, there's a hummingbird. And, okay, this one is like regular fabric. It doesn't have, the other ones just have kind of a funny, I don't know, just something a little bit off. And then there's this one. <laughs> Everybody has now had a good look of your eye at your eye, Miss Molly. So all in all, I'm really happy. I, I am especially happy with the my favorite quilt store. I will definitely purchase from them again. Um, I'm not sure about the I Need fabric. I have to wash it and see how it goes. Uh, I think the, the mermaid ones are going to be good. I'm just not sure about some of the other ones. <laughs> Hello. Anybody know that I'm here? <laughs> Miss Molly has taken over the show and I almost lost my whole pile of fabric. All right. Well, I'll have my one hand holding up this pile of fabric while I finish up this video. So yeah, um, interesting. I'm definitely going to keep this my favorite quilt store card handy because I did like those and the Muna fabrics look wonderful. They're just like not me, but they look fantastic. Um, yeah. All right. Well, thanks for listening to my very, very long video on this fabulous Friday fabric frenzy, <laughs> whatever I'm going to end up calling it. <laughs> Hosted, co-hosted by Miss Molly who is taking over the show today. What is on your fur? I have a spot on you, girl. Anyway, um, join me for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, and I will be showing you my Seaside Saturday uh, creation and telling you what I'm going to be making for the next Saturday if I figure out what that will be. And um, thanks for listening, everybody. Bye.